there we go. Can everybody see my screen there? Fab. So I did um, a similar training to this, this time last year, actually, and I just think it's good to recap because, um, you know, we are at the beginning of a brand new year. I think we've got more opportunity than ever this year. Um, you know, we had a, a brilliant year last year, and um, I just think, you know, we're going to, it's going to be even better this year. I can just feel it because, you know, there's um, so many people that are looking for an, an opportunity like this, like ours, because, you know, there's so many people that have had to, you know, they just had things happen to their jobs or, you know, they've having to be at home now with children. The kids are all off school again now. So how many people are going to be, you know, looking for something that they can do around their children and from home with flexible hours and, and things like that while they help them with their schoolwork and stuff. So I just think this year has got so much potential for anybody on here to, you know, to build a really, really good business. Um, and it doesn't matter, you know, whether you've been in for just a few weeks or days or you know whether you've been in you know for a longer period of time you've all got you know a fantastic opportunity to have your best year ever um so it's all about setting yourself up for success and just making yourself available for success really and success isn't just going to happen by accident it's something that happens on purpose because of you know what you do and how you position yourself for it and there's lots of things that we can do to make sure that we are setting ourselves up for success and we are, you know, ready to have our best year ever, ever and just putting ourselves in the right, you know, frame of mind to have that success. So it's just about, you know, asking yourself the question, how can I become a better version of myself? How can I, you know, be my best, um, you know, the best version of myself so that I can achieve all the things that, you know, that I want to achieve? And it starts with three core elements. The first one is your thoughts. Everything revolves around the thoughts that go on in your head. And, you know, we've seen so much success this year throughout the Vista Group um, and the Freedom Team. And I do really you know, believe that it's down to when people decide that they're going to you know, expect the success to happen and they believe it's going to happen. It happens. It's so much you know, 80%, I've got a slide coming up in a minute, in a bit that will show you that it's 80% of what goes on in here that determines, you know, the actions that you take and then the results that you get. So your thoughts and um, just to share something quickly while I'm on this subject, I read something um, a few days ago. Well, I listened to it actually on, um, on a, a video and it was a guy talking about just making a simple change of one word. So, if you, for example, if you wake up in the morning, you think, oh, I've got to do this. I've got to do this. I've got to, you know, go on this Zoom. I've got to go and, you know, take the kids to school. I've got to fetch the kids back from school. All you have to do is change that I've got to, to I get to, and just appreciate that you actually get to do those things. And I just, it really hit me like, I'm like, wow, that is such a small change but what a big impact that has and that's all to do with your thoughts and if you can you know just sort of get into the you know the the process of thinking positively about everything rather than you know negatively then it will change everything honestly so your thoughts will affect your decisions and then your decisions obviously affect the actions that you take as well um so there's just a few things that I think we can all do that will set us up for you know getting our head right getting in the, the right mindset to achieve the things that we want to achieve and the first one is to just get yourself a word for the year I've done this now every year for the past this is my third time doing it and it really works um so it's just having a word or a mantra that you're gonna you know believe in for you um for the year and you're gonna you just say it to yourself and just remind yourself of it all the time so something like I can and I will watch me um I can do this I've got a, an image with I can do this on it and it's one of my favorite images and I had it on my phone so every time I opened up my phone it was there staring me in the face um last year I had manifest that um sorry in 2019 I had manifest last year I had shine and then this year I've chosen believe for 2021 so it's just coming up with a word that you know that you can relate to that you want to you know to be what happens for you this year and I've got an image that I'll share in the the group afterwards with loads and loads of different words on that you can choose one from 
Um, and then once you've chosen it, just put it everywhere. Put your statement everywhere on your laptop screen, on your phone, on the wall, you know, where you're going to be surrounded by it so that you can see it all the time. Something else that I think is a really good time of year to do is to get your goal board going. Um, so, you know, you can never do too many goal boards. You know, we're always doing them, aren't we? We've got loads on the go. I've got books, I've got boards. I've got the dream jar, which has got all our goals written on and little pieces of paper inside so that when you come to you know, take one out, you can just take one of the pieces, pieces of paper out and use it for sort of visualization purposes and you're know, thinking about your goals. So anything that you can do, um, you know, as far as goal setting is concerned is, is brilliant. And with a goal board, you can just put you can just have fun with it and look through magazines and holiday brochures or you know, um, catalogues, anything. You can print pictures offline uh, from online and, and stick them on. And it's just anything that inspires you or, you know, things that you want to achieve, just put them on there. And you can have the little stepping stone goals on there as well, not just the, you know, the the big things that you want to achieve, but the little things that you want to achieve along the way. And it really will help. Um, if you can see your goals every day, um, you know, it just will give you so much more, motivation to do the the daily tasks that we we do each day and then something else that I'm really passionate about is creating yourself a routine to start the day off so it's all about you know getting in the right frame of mind as soon as you get out of bed so this was um this is sort of my kind of routine it's slightly changed now because I'm not doing the school run anymore <laughs> because obviously the Javi's learning from home now but I used to sort of take him to school and as soon as I have had got out of the car I'd put my podcast on to drive back home with and um, so by the time I'm get got home I'm really upbeat and you know fired up and then I go into my yoga and do that for about 20 minutes and then Insight Timer is a fantastic app that I've just got on my phone which just gives you like it's got a mixture of guided visualizations and also just a timer so you can just time yourself for 10 minutes and you can just sit there and you know and just focus on just being present for you know for 10 minutes um it's it's kind of like um you know you can choose you can if you somebody that can you know just sit for five or ten minutes you can just do the the timer but if you want some help and you want to be guided then choose the the you know the guided visualizations and it's really really good it really gets you relaxed and ready for the day and there's different ones you can choose like today I did one um that was um six minutes for just extra confidence and it just makes you feel really good so there's loads of different ones you can choose from then I you know love to read and so add my reading for 10 minutes in or you know you can either say to yourself I'll read 10 pages or I'll read for 20 minutes however you know it works out for you and if you want advice on you know the right books to read then just ask you know ask your sponsor or or ask me or Jamie or you know anybody that um that you know that you know that's into their reading because it's a really good habit to get into and then the last thing is just to have some like somewhere where you can just write down anything really that you know you're feeling and just a good place to start is just gratitude and just write th three things that you're grateful for every morning if that's you know, if you don't know what else to write, just write that and it will really make a difference. So obviously this will be different for everybody. Not everybody's into yoga, <laughs> um, you know, and you'll all, you'll all have different things that you like to listen to. But if you get yourself a little routine, it doesn't have to take long. I mean, that looks like a lot, but I'll do that within, you know, 30, 40 minutes. Um, and obviously if you've got longer, you can spend longer on certain things. But it's just having a little routine. It's all that gets done before um, breakfast. <laughs> so I know that it's all out the way. And if you spread it out throughout the day, you know, you'll never get around to it. So do it first thing. Get yourself in the right headspace. Mindset really is key. Like I said before, it's 80 percent mindset and 20 percent strategy. So, you know, I just think that if you've got if you've got the right attitude and the right mindset, you'll do the actions. You know, even if you're brand new and you don't really know, you know, what to do. You'll know what to do because you, your head's right and you'll be enthusiastic and, and excited. So the, the actions will come naturally <laughs> to you. And then we're obviously going to show you what to do anyway. So, yeah, mindset is a biggie, a real biggie. Um, so just, you know, ask yourself, where do I need to be? Um, who do I need to be this year to create that success? How would the person who I would like to be do the things that I'm about to do? And I use this a lot. I'll think, you know, what would Jackie White do, for example, in this situation? What would Claire Kinsella do, you know, and just, 
it just gives you a, a, a really good sort of idea of um, how to behave when you know when you look at what somebody else would do what who would you like to be in the business you know we've all got somebody that we look up to and um, somebody that we see as a mentor you know how would they tackle the situation how would they do it and if you want to be a director in the business you know but there's all different levels and we've all got different goals but say let's say you want to be a director act like that now act like a director now and do the things that a director would do in their business right now act as if because if you act as if it will take you to that goal a lot faster um you know and there's lots of things that that we can do so you know you've got a director business that's turning over seven thousand pounds what does that director do you know they're always attending you know everything that's going on they're prepared um you know they're they're reading up on things they're advertising their products they're sharing the opportunity so you've just got to act like that now and then that that goal will happen for you when we change our way of thinking we can change our life we really can um, and success is just inevitable when we think about success so the last one just you know create your vision for success for the year how do you want to feel i think it's it comes down to how do you want to feel not necessarily what do you want to achieve how do you want to feel um because it is all about you know feelings and if we can get into feeling like you know how we want to feel then we will attract you know what we want and what do you want what does success mean to you because it's different for everybody isn't it and imagine at the end of 2021 how are you feeling because you've achieved those things um you know and write write it all down you know what have you achieved and write it in the present tense that as if you've already achieved it you know because this time next year hopefully we'll be going to a real or a flame show do you want to be walking across the stage being recognized and you know everybody applauding you for achieving a certain level you know how cool would that feel so you've just got to you know imagine that now and write it down and look at it every single day 